If you're going to be investing in apartment buildings, there are some that I want you to buy and some that I don't. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I work with everyday people to help them become real estate investors, everyday people like Valerie, her son, Nicholas, and her husband, uh, Dave, right? Is it Dave, Dave, Dave? Yes, Dave. Valerie, Nicholas, and Dave. Been doing most of my conversating with Nicholas and Valerie, so sorry about that, Dave. But you folks, family unit, family team, getting into the real estate space. You guys are looking for quads in the Cleveland market, looking for... Uh, you know, multifamily stuff, right? And that's the thing, right? Quads, apartment building, four-unit apartment building. That is the type of apartment building I think investors like you should be buying. There are other types of apartment buildings that I do not think investors like you should be buying, at least not at this stage of your investment career. And those, those, those are what we're going to get into when we go over the numbers after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property. Let's pull up the details. Let's really break this down, right? The very first thing I want to talk about is the type of asset, right? It's a four-unit apartment building, and I think the four-unit apartment building is better than the three-unit apartment building. I think it's better than the five-unit apartment building, right? Because the financing. The financing is so much different when you're dealing with residential properties, right? Residential financing. You can buy single-family homes, duplexes, triplexes, quads, four-unit apartment buildings, right? With that residential financing, you get 30-year terms, fixed interest, low interest. It's the best gig in town. I think if you're a newer investor, it's the best property you could buy, okay? Because once you go up to the five unit, you no longer get that residential financing. You don't get 30-year terms. Now you're looking at like a 20 to 25-year AM with a five-year call. Guess what? When you do a 20 to 25-year AM, where do you think all the interest is packed? It's packed in the beginning, right? So by the time you get to your call, you haven't really paid that much principal down. You're not really benefiting from principal pay down. But with this bad boy on the fixed 30-year terms, you are, right? So that's why it's better than a five unit. And then, of course, it's better than a three unit because you know how many rent checks you get with a four unit? Four. You know how many you get with a three unit? Three. Four is better than three. Four is not better than five, though, because five comes with much less beneficial financing to you, the investor, right? So I love quads. I think they're the best building you could buy. The residential financing that I love so much, the negative to it outside of the fact you can only get it on singles, doubles, triples, and quads is you can only do 10 of them, right? You only get 10 of these loans, guys. So when you have the opportunity to buy a four unit, you got to take that opportunity. That said, you can't overpay, Right, You can pay a little more per unit on a quad than you can other assets because it's a great way to stack as much rental units in your portfolio, getting that amazing financing, letting the bank and the tenants pay off your, your stuff. Right, but, but you can't overpay too much, and I think that's what the seller wants you to do. Okay, 2111 Dowd Ave, Lakewood, 44107. It's been on the market for two months now, and it's in Lakewood. Lakewood? If you guys have watched The Ultimate Guide to Grading, or not watched, it's a, it's an article. If you've read The Ultimate, I should make it a show one of these days, though. But anyway, I'm trailing. If you guys have read The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhood, the article that I wrote, I've got it in the show notes below. If you haven't seen it, you can Google it. It's on the Tools and Resources tab at HoldenWise.com. I've graded all the neighborhoods in the greater Cleveland area on an 8F scale. A, low risk, high cost. F, high risk, low cost, okay? Lakewood? is what I would call a BA neighborhood, right? The further east, the further towards Cleveland you get, you get to a B. The further west, towards Rocky River and Westlake, you get to an A. This is probably like a B grade of Lakewood, to be fair. 
Uh, but Lakewood is so hot. People love living in Lakewood. People choose to live in Lakewood because they enjoy the nightlife. They enjoy the amenities. It's a very desirable area, right? There's neighborhoods in Cleveland uh, where people live there because they can afford it, right? There's really no amazing draw. There's a huge draw to Lakewood. So whenever Lakewood properties are on the market, they sell, like, immediately, right? Tenants, the rentals, they rent them immediately, okay? So you're pretty much going to have very little vacancy, but I said they sell immediately as well, right? Remember, I said it's 58 days on the market. That's because this sucker is overpriced, okay? Give you a little background on this too, right? Like, I think, like, I sold this, or at least a broker in my... Uh, no, I think I sold this, actually, because back in the day, Holton Wise, we had agents, right? And I believe uh, one of the guys, my agent, uh, sold it to his dad, okay? His dad is now the owner, and his other son... Not one of the guys worked at Holton Wise at that time. Not not him. Different son is not, is now selling it, right? Uh, so I believe that's how he ended up acquiring this property. This was many several years ago. Values were not as high, but since he has owned it, he's done a big old rehab, according to what they've written here, right? Let's check this out, okay? Are you looking for your own cash making machine? Look no further. Check out this awesome Lakewood Four unit. This building consists of two one ones, two two ones. The first floor rear unit was taken down to the studs and has been completely renovated. 2019. The first floor front unit has new vinyl flooring that flows through the kitchen and renovated kitchen. 2019. Every unit has been freshly painted. The common hallway was taken down to the studs and has brand new drywall from floor to ceiling. This building has brand new siding, gutters, and window trim. There are newer exterior doors and unit entry doors. The hot water tank has been replaced in 2020. New first furnace, 2018. Building offers great off-street parking as well. This building has had over $100,000 in renovations. Rents are currently under market, and there is room to grow. Building is turnkey and ready to go. Call your favorite realtor today before it's too late. And you got... Monthly rent, 600 700 550 then they got a vacant unit. They are right. The rents are much lower, okay? Market rent should be able to bring in three grand a month. We should be able to get 650 and 650 out of the two one-bedroom units. The two two-bedroom units, those are $850 units. So 3000 and then thirty six k a year, right? This is a very nice building. They've done a lot of really nice work, right? That vinyl siding, that's huge, man. That's great. Uh, but it ain't worth what they're asking, okay? And I don't care that this dude, son, works at Holton Wise and his other son uh, doesn't. Like, I don't have any, like, I'm on your team, right? I'm going to tell you, they're overpriced as all hell, right? 279 Too much. Too much. Nice building. Nice neighborhood, okay? But it ain't worth 279 The most, the most I could see you paying would be 250 And I'll tell you what. If you don't believe me that it's overpriced at 279, look at this right here. It's liquid. It should fly immediately. 58 days on the market, that means they way overshot it, right? The most you should pay is 250. That's a $30,000 discount from where they're at. May even want to start lower than that. May want to start at like 240, 235. See if we can get any movement. I have no inside info on this. I've given you all the info I have, all of my background details I've given to you during this video, right? It's not like I have like an inside track uh, with this gentleman and like calling him, like, yo, what will you really take? I don't know that info. They're not going to give it to me, right? They're going to play their cards tight to the vest, just like you and I are probably going to play our cards tight to the vest. But you got to know 279, no way, dude. Too much. 250 is the very most, but. I think honestly starting at like 235 would probably make sense. But let's run the numbers based on 250, okay? 3000 comes in, 36 for the year running fixed variable expense estimates that we have to run on all rental properties cuz folks, you don't get to keep all the money wish you did, you don't. 17,796 is a reasonable performance estimate. If you picked it up at 250, financed it with that freaking sweet 30-year financing, you're only putting up two uh, sixty-two and a half. Bank kicks in the other one eighty-seven and a half. You get them tenants to pay that down for you. That would project you out at a thirteen point three percent cash on cash return. Now, note, I base that on the market rents. They're not too far off as far as the market rents go, but we do have to increase the tenants' rents. However, 
I don't think it's that big a deal because it's very small, minute amount of money. We need to increase it. So, uh, you know, the longer these folks live there at the lower rental amount, the longer it takes you to get there. But, you know, it's Lakewood. They're not going to want to move. And, you know, as far as the inside goes, you know, it looks it looks decent. It's, you know, they did some stuff behind the walls, which is great. They did the vinyl siding, which a big old building like this, that's expensive. But there's, like, definitely nothing, like, amazing about this. But that's also why we're talking rent rates of 650 and 850 If you're in Lakewood, it's not unheard of to get, like, 11 12 1300 for large duplex units the further west you go, right? So uh, we would not be by any means at the top of the market monthly rental rate. But you're also not really going to get top – of the rental uh, rate when you're on the eastern side of Lakewood anyway, right? Because you trail down to a B. But all told, this will be a money maker. This will be a solid performer. But the main thing here is we have to try to beat these guys up on price. And I've, you know, the fact that we're going to try to offer lower doesn't do it for them. The market's going to continue to tell them, hey, dude, you're overpriced, right? Because, again, two months on the market in Lakewood, that's way too long, right? So they should be primed and ready for some low ball offers we could shoot at them. Hopefully we pick it up between 235 and 250 Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.